I have a little time off work, so I decided to take the boat out. My kids are away camping with their mom right now, so I wasn't able to bring them on this trip. I have no idea where we're going to go. I just left the dock and it is just about 8 o'clock in the morning. I've got about two hours until I'm out of the river, I figure, and by that time I should make a decision, or well I'll have to make a decision. Seems to be a lot of commercial traffic this morning, maybe because it's around slack tide. at the mouth of the Fraser and I've made a decision on where we're going to go. Today we're going to sail directly across the Strait of Georgia to Porlier Pass. We should just make it there in time before slack. If we don't make slack then it starts flooding and we'll be fighting current. The maximum current in Porlier Pass today is over 8 knots. So. It's important that we get there at slack or right around slack. Once we get through Porlier Pass, we're going to head north and we'll be in the Gulf Islands. Slack for Dodd Narrows, which is at the north end of the Gulf Islands. That will be at about 6.20, 6.30 tonight. So we're not going to be too rushed once we get inside. and. It'll be flooding, so we could go through, but I don't like going through there uh, when it's too much current with me, because it's very narrow, you'll see. And our final destination is going to be Nanaimo. Anyways, I'll stop chatting and get things set up. Let's go sailing. I think we got out of the worst of it and we are doing seven knots. We're a little more close hauled than I'd hoped but we're right on course for Portier Pass and well I have my final destination plotted in so I don't know how many miles it is exactly to Portier but the conditions are a little better for sure. And if we can keep doing seven knots, we should be there in a couple hours, I would think. I, just guessing. It's 10.15 a.m. 
So let's check and see what time it is when we get there. I took a couple big waves uh, just as we were exiting the river. One was more like a wall of water that drenched the entire cockpit. Even with this uh, top enclosure on, the sides are still open and a lot of water can spray in. But it was more like a buckets of water, I guess. That would be a better description of what came in here. As we were leaving the river with just the Genoa up and with the current, we were doing over 10 knots uh, over ground. But right now it's six and a half to seven knots seems to be our speed. And we're not in the current anymore. And everything's looking good. Except I don't have any crew. That's always more challenging, but I have the boat pretty well set up for single handing. I wanted to say thanks to one of my viewers. Uh, I can't remember who it is because I don't have the internet right now, but I did a video a while back on the jack lines on my boat. And at least one or two of the viewers suggested shortening up my lanyard by just looping it down to the jack line and back. So that's what I've done and it's much shorter and I really like it a lot more than I, what I was doing before. I was just attaching the shackle uh, to the jack line and then one end to my harness, but it was quite long. So thanks for those comments and it is a much better setup. pass and slack tide is about 10 minutes so I was lucky with the time today getting across the Strait of Georgia just in time for slack so it took us just under two hours to get across the Strait of Georgia as I approach I'm going to ease out the Genoa because we'll be sailing a little more off the wind By approaching it a little bit higher up like I wanted, it's going to give me more maneuverability for sailing through it. If I approached it from further down, I'd be pinching to get up around and through. So this gives me more options and lots of power in the sail. To either go up into the wind or bear off the wind. It's a fairly wide channel passage but it still is narrow you know so you don't want to be sailing it too tight to one side or the other and you have to consider traffic I only see one boat ahead that just passed me a powerboat it's going the same direction
wind is a little behind us now. And this is Porlier Pass.